good. Funny. Very funny. Victoria's Secret. Rosie O'Donnell. Victoria O'Donnell? <laughs> oh, yeah. Titty up, titty down, titty shake it all around. Yeah, titty, yeah, titty, titty, titty. Amelia. Hey, uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, um, I am having a few problems with this outfit. It's just a little bit, you know, Ellen. <laughs> oh, no, that's all cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm kind of a pseudo-lesbian anyway. I used to play soccer and, but hey, man, I take Tegan or Sarah. It's all cool, man. I can rock that. Yes, I can. It has come to this. I'm dancing and fondling my lady lumps before I go on. I've always been attracted to men who think I'm funny. It's always been about a need to justify who I am, uh, mixed with an unhealthy obsession with watching self-reflective TV dramas and online personality tests. Today when I was walking home, I thought to myself, hey, I'm making curry. So I went down to the shops to get some ingredients and bam, there they were in front of me, popping on. And I was like, yes, yes, I will have a pop do. I want a pop do with my vindaloo. Would you like a pop do with your vindaloo? <laughs> oh, yes, please, I would love a pop -a <laughs> But nevertheless, those closest to me have always. <laughs> Regardless, I've always ended up with. Funny. Computer lady. Dork, why don't you try? <laughs> you just don't have the Midas touch. Watch this. <clears throat> oh, yes, hello. <laughs> I'd like to make a free upgrade on my phone, please. Ooh. And that's how it gets done. So, in order to prove that I'm funny, I thought I'd try my wares on someone who wasn't a direct beneficiary of my loving. Now, to be honest, this had always been a subconscious dream. You've got to come over here. I've got someone for you to meet. Yes, Miss Party Gestapo. <laughs> funniest people I know. She's going into stand-up, you know. Oh really? So you must think you're pretty funny then? Oh, uh, you know, a couple of dead baby jokes. <laughs> See, she's got such an interesting sen sense of humour. How are you on the fly? Live situational comedy? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Game on, mole. <laughs> you could always... You want to do a wrap-off? Like, uh... Eminem and 8 Mile, I'll be Eminem. Yeah, you should uh, actually get into contact with my mum. She's done some stand-up in the past and uh, yeah, she might be able to help you out. I had some bad food on the aeroplane the other day. <laughs> You're about as funny as Will. Can you hand me that basket? You know, I just... I thought I'd talk about the funny things that happen to me from day to day. Pig. I just want to find my style. What do you find funny? Well, I tend to talk about my children. They're an endless shitstorm of material. You know, Will, he was a chronic bedwetter. Was or is? Was. Well, why don't you talk about children and how much you hate them? You know, and how you had to keep trying till you found one you like. I don't have any children. Well, you can always lie and say you have them. Not unless I was a fetus with a fetus. Right, that's funny. I think we could have an issue. Maybe I'm not the right comedian. Why don't you give Sam Snail a try? Hmm? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've tried my hand at scripting. I don't think I've quite got my style yet, or I don't really know. 
So that's unusual, because uh, you box fairy comedians and normally got a lot to talk about. What? You know what I mean. You know, rug munches, dykes on bikes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not really a lesbian, Sam. Well then, how about you do jokes about how your feet are small so you can stand right up close to your sink when you're doing your dishes or, or getting married in white, matching all the other kitchen appliances. Tits. Everyone loves a good set of tits, I do. And yours aren't bad. I mean, I normally like them a bit bigger with a bit more perk, but still reckon they'd be good milk delivery jokes. Oh, what's that? The 1970s rang, Sam. They want your hairstyle back. Yeah. You're gonna have to do a little bit better than that, girlie. Okay, um... Have you got anything else for me other than two jokes? Yeah, I do. How about you go down the path of all the other female comedians? Talk about periods and yeast infections and all that stuff that's just too gross for me to think about. I've got a fun fact for you. If you're baking bread, you've got to keep the old undercarriage covered. Otherwise the lady parts get a bit sick. <laughs> Did you know that? No, Sam, I, I did not, but um, I will keep that in, in consideration, definitely. Um, yeah, I might. Just Thanks. Okay, take it. Feel free. It's my gift to you. Alrighty. Alright, we've got a, we've got a host of good folks coming. Either way, you're on in about five minutes, so perk yourself up and make those fizzes laugh. All right, I want to talk about something that's uh, close to my heart, and I'm sure it's close to yours, and I'm sure I've seen you in it. I want to talk about pornography. Yeah! Woo! That's it. This is her first time, so be gentle on her. All right? Hopefully it lasts longer than my first time, <laughs> you remember. And uh, <laughs> that you will walk away a lot more satisfied. Please welcome Evo Leary. Woo! 